This is Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV, and this CAD Works tutorial is teaching you how to create a uh, two color design out of materials that won't layer uh, using a effect within CAD Works, or also creating a one color design um, with a two color look by uh, creating a garment gap. So we have two different designs on the screen, both of which are going to use the same technique. Um, so what I'd like to do is, with normal heat transfer materials, you could cut this green AG, and you can cut the black colonials and directly layer those on top of one another. But with materials like Glitter Flake, you can't directly layer them, so it requires um, either a garment gap or a trapping technique. And in this case, I'm going to show you the garment gap, which is the simpler of the two. Um, all I need to do is double-click on my foreground text um, to create an outline around it. Uh, if you're familiar with the CADWorks text editor, all I need to do is click Add Effect in order to add an outline or a contour around the text. And I'll select the small contour to start. You can start with a small or a large contour, it doesn't really matter, but you want it to be towards the outside, which is what the gray is visualizing here. Click on Open. It'll apply that small contour to my text. Uh, basically, this is going to be the, the amount of the garment that I'm going to have showing through. I'm going to punch this background layer through the AG text on the next screen. So I'm happy with this distance of 0.1 on the offset. If I want it to be larger, I can change this number to change the amount of that outline. Once I'm happy, I click OK. It will drop it back onto my design screen. And then I'm going to do something very important, which is breaking apart that particular text element by colors. Click on it to select it. Go up to Shaping and break it apart by colors. I'm going to drag the foreground away from the background. Now basically what I want to do is I want to use the gray outline to punch through uh, the background AG, uh, creating a place to inlay my foreground text. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. You select both uh, design elements by uh, dragging and, and drawing a box around it. Then you go up to Shaping and select Back minus Front. This is the command we'd like. At that point, it punches through the background design. If I drag that Colonials away, um, you'll see I have that void area now in my background text, which creates the perfect application for layering Colonials uh, right inside of this design in the heat application phase with a material like Glitter Flake. Now, if there's some small details uh, back here that I don't want to weed out, like the center uh, of the O and some little areas, I can select this background and actually break it apart by curves, which brings it down to the most uh, detailed element of the design. And then I can individually select these um, components, either by drawing boxes around them and deleting them. Um, that way it saves me a little bit of time in weeding. I don't want to delete them all, but the really small ones I'm happy to delete. It'll save me some time in the production process. Um, just being careful not to move anything. Once I complete that process, I can go to Shaping and combine this back together. And then I can select it and assign the color um, again. And so now this design is complete. Um, an AG Colonials design ready to apply to apparel in two colors. I delete the background Colonials text. I no longer need that element. So utilizing a similar concept, I'm going to show you how to punch through a background and create a, a two-color look with a garment gap um, out of a single color of film. So in this case, I'm going to select this AG. Once again, I'm going to add the effect of a small contour. Once I'm happy with the outline amount, uh, maybe if I want it to be an eighth of an inch, I'll type in 0.125, click OK. Select this text and break it apart by colors. Dragging the foreground away from the background and now selecting both design elements, the helmet and the AG text, and combining those together to punch through. Now if I go into the transparency mode, you can see I have the garment or the background showing through the AG text. Go back out of transparent mode. Just wanted to show you that. I can put this text back into place. If I need to see things a little better, I can go and change my zoom to fit, which zooms directly in on that piece of text. It looks like I've lined it up pretty well. Now I'm going to 
zoom back out to fit the whole piece. And I just assign everything one color. Uh, when I have everything selected, I can assign it one color. And now I have a design where my garment color, once applied, is going to show through around the outline image of this AG, creating a two color look with only one uh, step of cutting, one step of weeding, and one cost of heat transfer film in the color I've selected. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.